This is the Waffle Bros, I'm Corwin. And I'm Uko. And we are back with more Quake Remastered. Today we're going to be diving into the Scourge of Armageddon. Somehow I thought it was going to say Armageddon. I was really sure it was going to say I that. Too, but every The time. Scourge of Armageddon. Is that what you call um, Attila the Fun's penis? Okay, because he was the Scourge of God, wasn't he? Wasn't he? Yeah, and that's why they I called mean, him so, Attila the Fun. I mean, that's here's the thing, why though. they called him... Attila the Fun. That would imply that his dick was barbed and could be thrown across the room. Yeah, yeah, that sounds that sounds kind of fucking terrifying. Um, we got uh, all these things like gape and open and everything. No, no, no. This is one of those expansions that was done by like an outside team of people who were not involved with the uh, the original id hardware, as it were, <laughs> or id software, if you want to be. You know, pedantic and correctified. No, no, no. There are going to be uh, Scorpion Fam is going to be in this, yes, isn't he? Yes, the okay. Scorpions are cool. And okay. uh, obviously we got dogs down there. We got dogs and they're chasing after um, hot dogs or corn dogs maybe even. Okay. I don't I haven't think had corn should... dogs in a while. I haven't had corn dogs in a while either, but you shouldn't feed corn dogs to your actual dogs because they'll choke on the stick. Is it true? Oh, okay, I was going to say, isn't it true that, like, dogs can, like, swallow things that are... Are dogs are much less likely to choke than humans or something? Isn't that... Are yeah, they more uh, yeah, likely no, to choke No, they're less than likely to choke because they can breathe and swallow at the same time. I mean... Mo oh, there it is. There's Scorpion Fam. No, no. Um, okay, I did it, is it Is it shooting nine-inch nails at me? I'm I pretty think sure it, is. it was shooting... But Nine inch fuck nails the, the at my face. The reason why I'm giggling like a fool is because I thought it was just a bug on my side why it was doing the scorpion wiggle dance. See, I was thinking it was a bug right there as well, but you know, turns out that's just how scorpions uh, hey. are supposed uh, to yeah, no, it's, it's not a bug. It's a, it's a bug, it's an uh, it's arachnid. It's an arachnid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 something people care about. Oh wait, no, they fucking don't. Um, Here's the thing. Laser cannon. Okay, what what is the laser cannon bound to? Or do I have to just like You have to like select it with the mouse it wheel the or that mouse thing. wheel. Um okay, I got to calm the fuck down and start keep calm and laser on. Okay, that's what I got to do. Um the force field. We're force field. fielded, bro. Dude, we're horse fielded. If if the force fields worked like they do in Star Trek, there would be people for sure whose fetish would be like jamming their dick up against that thing and it buzzes. Oh no, then somebody would fuck up and like jam their dick up against it and forget they hadn't turned it on yet or it hadn't come on yet and then oh. the force field would turn on and just like fucking, you know, crunch their dick in two. Okay, Although, that's that just what results in the force field would do. I'm going to go full geek, okay? Because we know it just causes severe burns. Because remember, they're in DS9. Some Dax was fisting uh, a, a place with her hand when a force field came on, and it just, like, burned Okay, the so then you got a severely burned fucking Wang, okay? You got a severely burned Wang because the force field turned down while you're, you know... Wang was occluding the area. <laughs> okay. Oh. Occluding the areola. I don't know what the fuck I'm Whoa. talking about. No. Oh, nipples no. up against the force field, too. Oh. Put them on the glass, except got, it's a force field. Got some uh, makeshift pepperoni there. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm but sorry. Do be careful when you're using the laser in this game. Will it reflect it back in your face? Oh, yes. Reflect back in Joe Booty? Actually, that would be terrifying. Do not, do not take lasers up the booty because if that happens then uh you're gonna have a really bad time taking a shit for the oh, rest of your forever because that see people don't think about that that like people get injured directly in the butt in yeah. the hole of the butt oh uh, dude and they have to take a shit you know the why next day don't think about that because they don't want to think nobody wants to think about that bro no except for there's like somebody out there who's like oh yeah I just want to see pictures of that. That's so my a fetish. fucking pervert. Butt wounding, yeah. <laughs> butt wounding. Oh. Butt binding. Okay. So I don't, if this is I, your, I don't know why I just said butt binding here in front of everybody. I don't even know how you'd bind a butt. I guess. I guess um, you'd get some, like, paracord or something well, yeah, well, and just what, what, wrap what it around the butt real hard. People have the weird, you know, uh, not, you know, super complicated not rope. You know, fetish? Yes. Shibari, yes. that's the one. Yes, they do. You come here to learn about fetishes, okay? <laughs> that, that's that's what that's... the channel is for. Um, how do I, like, cause this thing to... Um, oh, do I, like, shoot something here? Oh, yeah, maybe? yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's something around here that you shoot. Like, maybe... Other, other oh, side. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure... 
what I'm supposed to. Maybe this thing? No. I thought, I thought there was something you shot here. Uh, oh, a rocket oh, down. There it is. Should, okay. There we go. Up the pipe. There we freaking go. Now, here's it's the thing. It's exploding. It's exploding. I don't really want that right now, though, do I? Oh, man. I, um, I thought that was like a health pickup, but it's instead it's some shit that we got to rocket. The pump has been destroyed. See, here's okay. the thing. I honestly, because of the font, I thought it said dumping room at first. <laughs> it was a one pump chump. Okay. <laughs> But That's then, what it was. When it said the, the dump has been destroyed, I realized it must be pump. <laughs> the dumper has been destroyed. No, no. Ooh. I mean, I took some splash back there, but uh, I oh, am taking that, care of business. That's a risk when you're dumping. Oh, uh, no. You don't you don't want to have, like, horrifying Cthulhu demon dumper splash back, okay? You do not want that going on. Yeah, I want my okay. double shotgun. I just realized something. On... Throughout all of the journey of Quake, the only time you see a bathroom at all is in that last episode. You're not wrong about that. And only that you're, one you're, bathroom. Um, I mean, look, you know, who are we Who are we to judge them for taking a hallway dumper all the time? Okay, actually, well, okay. we're the fucking humans, okay? No, to be we fair, should be judging them. As I understand it, some of the greatest palaces in Europe and elsewhere were built without the benefit of plumbing. And people yeah, just and they dumped were in like the halls. Or, 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 or the stairwells. It, or is it the stairwells? Yeah. That's... Yeah, at, in the Palace of Versailles. Then whenever they'd have a party, they would just take take mounds of crap. Uh, um, they would have a human... Well, wouldn't they also like sometimes vomit down the fucking stairwell too? I'm pretty sure they would oh, do they that. Oh, they actually did the vomitorium thing? I, I don't know. Oh I'm my not God, sure. no, that's gross. But yeah, I mean, so I So when assume... our parents went to see the Palace of Versailles, do you think they checked out the shit stairwell? <laughs> do you think they... Like de-emphasize the shit very stairwell on the tour, guided tour. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like this is where the uh, greatest dumps of Europe and, took a dump. And also, yes, I, I'm sure that there wasn't like a mound. I'm sure that what would happen would be there would be like a, a silver tray. And there'd be or there'd be like a scrape boy who would come along and and oh, scrape it off. I'm okay. assuming that they would shit onto like a tray or whatever, and the bus boy would get rid of it. <laughs> The dump boy would come yeah. get rid of it. Is that it's, what you're fucking it's, saying? It's only it's look, it's it's Oops. like being a regular bus boy, except tonight you're on crap bus duty. Yeah. And you just clear away that table. Bus <laughs> the crap, son. <laughs> uh what the hell is an empathy shield? Okay. I it's i I was never sure exactly what made it an empathy shield. It it shields you. Maybe enemies take damage. Oh, when that they, must be what it me. is. I bet that's what it and is. And I was just shooting okay. like a beast. And didn't realize it. I just started <laughs> like blasting. A, like a beast. I, that guy may have just died when I when he shot me a little bit. Okay. I think so that anyway, may... he just started blasting. See, see, I wasn't I wasn't sucking. I was totally deliberately letting him shoot me. So wait a minute. Does so that I could mean... find out Hold about my beautiful powers. My, my, I, I gave myself a headache. Okay. So if the empathy shield makes it where whoever shot you gets damaged, if you shoot yourself, it damages you. Also, if somebody else has an empathy shield, does it like just keep passing the damage back and forth between one another? Oh my god. Until Simon says, is that is that what fucking happens? I bet it's what happens. Okay. I can or, yeah. Or the damage just builds up to like unbelievable levels instantaneously. Oh, and that's how that's how that you could rip also open, be a thing. That's how you rip open the multiverse. That's how you rip open the time hole. You're not fucking wrong about that. That's how that's how the time hole gets uh stretched and gaped if you will also okay. i saw this is this is messed up right i for some reason i would oh, um, oh god <laughs> uh okay okay we're gonna stay away from that i guess i i assume i blow this thing up and then it destroys the yep i didn't see that for some reason at first uh, or no, why wait, is it no, not that's, exploding oh, no, oh that a is health a health thing. thing okay oh god oh god okay, okay. that's why i wasted so many wasted rockets now <laughs> okay <laughs> That's so many wasted nights. I was going to say that I didn't remember doing that, and I remember doing something else, and that's why. Well, at least I got the health cube, okay? At least I got the health cube. And we got we got, we got our rockets back. It's the, cool. The, the so many wasted, the wasted rocket thing made me remember how way back in high school, someone told me a lie. I'm sure it was a lie. About, like, whenever somebody mentions their uncle, they're lying. Like just so you know, <laughs> it's a made-up thing that either they or their uncle made up. 
Yup. But this guy claimed that his uncle had a deactivated munition of some kind, like a, like a bazooka round, and that he made it into a bong and would smoke out of it. At first, I thought you said he made it into a bomb, and I was like, you're just, like, undoing some other person's work there. <laughs> somebody, over, somebody deactivated Somebody put, it. like, effort into deactivating it, and now you're just talking about a crime, <laughs> okay? But yeah, uh, th but that was, I think that was the same guy who said that he also, that he ruined a fairly valuable uh, blowgun by smoking out of it. <laughs> and I couldn't so, figure out, it's like, it's not like this it has guy, life This guy, he, uh... He he didn't like smoking things. Is what you're saying? Okay. He had he didn't have a smoking shit fixation. No, of course not. By any oh, stretch okay. of the imagination. Although to be fair, if you're constantly in search of a new bong, it's almost like you really don't like smoking. Well, it's like when all you've got is a hammer, everything you see is a nail, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah whenever when all you yeah when or all you got everything is a hammer, whatever the fuck. Yeah, when all you've got is crummy 1990s weed, everything looks like a bong. <laughs> I, I guess I can't disagree with you about that. Okay. I can't fucking disagree with you. Um, there was like a meat pile there, and I just scraped it into the um, meat oh, yeah. disposal. Check the upstairs in case there are other dudes. I mean. Uh, okay, you, you wiped them out. I wiped them out. I, I seem to recall more I than teleporting. I hit them with my best shot. And, oh, there is, there is uh, There's more. one more. Okay. I hit them with my best shot, and then I fired away. Oh no! My, vo the, my voice is dying again. He was okay. trying to quote, who, who, who sang that song? Pat Benatar, maybe. Oh yeah, it was Pat Benatar. Yeah. You see, you are not Pat Benatar, and uh, apparently the, the the voice gods know that. Look, I'm pretty sure that whether or not Pat Benatar is still alive, she probably can't sing that song anymore. Okay. I just you're not wrong. And, uh, bro, why 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 you being here? Why it's like a sticky bomb? Uh, yes, it I looks think so. like it should be. The stickiest of bomb, a uh, sticky uh, bomb. It doesn't stick to dudes, but it sticks to the ground and becomes the mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna insist on calling it a sticky bomb, though. Okay, <laughs> I know that sounds sticky bomb. Sounds a bit weird, but it we're rolling goes with off. it. It, uh, it, it does, it does, indeed. There we go. So I probably gotta go and do the other side of this thing over here. And uh, actually, I've forgotten where I'm going entirely. So, okay, I go down here. Um, oh, yeah, I was like, why am I not falling? But You're it was because I was the on the magic floor. On the magic force field of madness. Okay, so we go up here. We go through this tunnel. We do a little plumbing, a little working over of the back door. And then uh, hey, we, we started go on this our level. Uh, magical journey. We started this level talking about plumbing and how people would crap in the hallways. And working over the back door. Okay, um, wait, is this the wrong way? I, I, I don't, I, I, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I'm going the wrong way because I am what you might call le fool. <laughs> okay, I am. Wait, is this going to go this way now? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. I just, I. You were on the right weird platform. Weirdness track. Okay, uh, that's what I was on. Kablamo. Motherfucker! Ah, your there voice returned. We go. So you it was the up where I belong. Your voice was taken from you temporarily by the ghost of Pat Benatar, even if she's not dead. Yes, exactly. That the is a bizarre thing to say. Of Pat Benatar. <laughs> uh, I mean, Pat Benatar is way before my time, but there's like a whole bunch of people who were like, "Who are these like millennial boomers talking about?" <laughs> there. Yeah. There we go. I would advise you to listen to the music of the 80s through the lens of uh, Rockstar Games. Yes, yes. exactly. Although the last time I heard that song was when we were playing Sleeping Dogs, and he was karaokeing Sleeping Dogs. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a good game, too. Anyway, anyway, we're going to stop here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that Schmecks it thumbs up button. Make sure you ring the bell to keep getting notified of delicious waffle content. Waffle Bros signing out.